Hi right, guys, this is another one from uh, Popular Science. Uh, super fast lasers create a hologram that you can touch. And here is an example down here. There's a laser of a heart that can be touched. As you can see, the laser gives in. I'm not sure how much pressure it can actually hold. But as you can see, it interacts with the person's finger. So basically, it's made of uh, very fast light. Uh, close up of the hologram by Digital Nature Group's uh, femtosecond laser. The halls of science fiction are well decorated with dreams of holograms of Jules Verne introduced in 1893. We've seen holograms used in real time. In the 2008 election, CNN did a hologram of a person giving an interview who was not on site. So we know holograms are very uh, easy technology to produce. Nowadays, they did it with projecting, I think it was 12 or 15 cameras onto a person. And that blue glow around uh, the persons in Star, Star Wars actually showed up red on the camera. So um, the Star Wars guys got something right. Now researching Digital Nature Group, DNG, have found a way to use lasers, mirrors, and cameras to create three-dimensional interactive holograms comprised of tiny points of light called voxels, V-O-X-E-L-S. This is an actual tangible interaction with a three-dimensional, or a uh, aerial graphic. This guy is supposed to feel this. I'm not sure what he actually feels, though. But using uh, femtosecond lasers, uh, femtosecond is a quadrillionth of a second, and the lasers transmit bursts at 30 and 270 femtoseconds. The team can make holograms that are safe to the touch. Uh, let me tell you what this leads up to, folks. This right here, this technology, this stupid, simple little heart here that you see, this is the technology that we'll see when people are developing shields for the military and various uh, space science groups. This is the science technology in the making right here, folks. When you touch the laser, it feels like sandpaper. So that's what it feels like, ladies and gentlemen. Says uh, Principal Investigator uh, Yochi Ochi. Uh, although some participants thought the plasma felt a little bit like static shock. This isn't the first attempt to using femtosecond lasers to form air plasma, but the study should help design designing future femtosecond laser displays. Also, previous studies used nanosecond and femosecond lasers creating images. DNG researchers say preceding studies haven't achieved resolution this high that would burn and would burn human skin. So this is the first time that they have made it to where it wouldn't harm anybody. Alright, so this is what I wanted to show you here, guys. This right here is the first type of technology that you can see that's going to be your, uh, your laser wall or your laser shield for the future. This is the very technology, folks. In its minute form, this is the very technology.